we're live, we're live, I guess. Hello, Pilots, we're finally live from Pixonic headquarters, and I'm your host, uh, Artemi, also known as WR Tosla. You may know me, you may not know me. And today we're going to talk about modules. Um, we wanted to start making streams for quite a while now, in, and we thought that this will be a good opportunity for us to start. It was a huge temptation to start making streams about everything at all. Uh, at, add-ons because I mean there's a lot you probably wanted to talk about and we want to talk about but we decided to keep it like simple and focus on one particular topic that actually has to be discussed so we will talk about modules but first there are a couple of quick announcements I need to make because I mean if you're watching this why not make it now first uh, in the update 4.6 we will uh, stop the support of older iOS versions so you will need iOS at least 9.3 to keep playing as usual. So please don't forget to update your device before the update hits. And second announcement. Uh, we are aware that there was a bug with uh, Super Chess Progress and we fixed it today. So basically, if you didn't notice, uh, there um, it shown it had it was showing not the correct uh, progress towards the Super Chess. And now we fixed it, and in a week from the update 4.6, you will get the compensation, you will get super chest progress uh, for every 8,000 keys you spend this season. So everyone will also receive five supply drops. Uh, hope this will cover the inconvenience you have. And the last update that we will get uh, more in depth to later, uh, in the same update in 4.6, we will remove uh, WRAL tokens from battle rewards. Uh, bear with us, we'll get to this. And we will switch them with power cells. What is power cells? We'll get to this as well. Uh, more on this later on Devstream. stream. And now, let's get to the modules. We, let's, I think the best way to describe what the modules is, uh, what the models are. Just to show you an uh, overview that we made, so please, Let's see this. One more hit, and this Wayland will explode. Or will it? Introducing modules. Modules is a brand new category of equipment that gives your robots special perks. Think about not dying once per battle or seeing through stealth. Let's dig into modules. How modules work? There are modules of two types, passive and active. You install them into special slots. At first, all module slots are locked, but as you upgrade your robot, you open more and more of them. Passive modules. Passive modules are similar to other equipment. You buy them for gold, and then upgrade with silver up to level 6. No MK2. Upgrading will improve module effects. But even at level 1, most modules are already very powerful. Let's start with simpler ones. Armor kit increases robot's durability. Nuclear reactor increases weapon's damage. There are basic and advanced versions of these modules. Basic ones are equipped on all robots by default. They are cheaper, faster to upgrade, but less powerful. Now, if you want something more spicy, be our guest. Last Stand literally makes your robot go berserk. After its durability goes below a certain level, you become invincible for a short duration. Use it on mobile brawlers to dish out maximum damage before dying. With Battleborn module, your robot takes less damage right after deploying on a spawn point. See someone taking your beacon? Deploy a Battleborn robot and drive them away. Want to make a comeback in free for all? Battleborn is here to help. Active modules. Active modules are free. Once you reach the minimum level they require, you have them. All you need is an unlocked active slot to equip them. Active modules require power cells to activate. You get cells from battle rewards 
or buy them for gold. Lockdown ammo temporarily gives your weapons a chance to mobilize enemies on hit. With it, you can turn thunder into a more powerful glory or catch whole bands of enemies by bombing them with Noriku. Quantum Radar allows you to target enemies through stealth. You take this module to hunt Spectres, Mercuries and other robots that have it. Finally, Repair Unit restores a percentage of robots' total durability over a few seconds. After a hard fight, turn it on, wait and you're good to go again. These were the first modules we add to War Robots. Check the description for more info on them. And as usual, see you on the battlefield! Okay, it seems like we're back. Thank you, Stan. You're not with us, but it was almost like you've been here in our hearts. So, yeah, now you see that I'm not alone here. Uh, I'm here with Vadim. Uh, he's a lead, lead game designer on War Robots and... Hello, Artemi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Vadim. And we're going to discuss modules with him because he mm -hmm. knows about modules much more than, than I do. And we will go through the modules as they are, like, as a whole thing. And we'll go through every single one in particular. And we will also address uh, some of your questions that you guys sent us through social media. On uh, We have social media groups in, uh, in on Russian, on English, on Japanese. And we collected uh, questions from all of them. And also, if you will see your ID somewhere there, down below, uh, check your hangar. You already have your Aries there waiting for you. So just wait for it. We'll get to this like on the end of the stream. So modules. Yep, we that's have right. modules now, and this is the new way to customize your robots through new kind of equipment. Mm -hmm. So, could you say a little bit more why did we do actually did we make modules? So a... yeah, uh, as you know that our game is all about customization and all about creating a new uh, type of robot that really suits your gameplay better. So uh, we decided that it will be good to give a new opportunities of customization. Uh, for example, right now you can really just stack with uh, hit points and speed and, well, for some robots uh, you can increase their ability power. Yeah, you just level up your robot and you don't even choose yeah, what and you, you want to Yeah, and you can't do anything else with it. Uh, so we decided that it will be best uh, to give our players a new opportunities, a new way to customize your hangar and to basically pick what you want to mm -hmm. improve, basically your health or your damage or something else. Yeah, we will uh, talk about modules a little bit more, so you will understand the way that we think about it. It will make like more sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and why we actually picked the way to make it work through equipment? We actually had some other ways to yeah, do this, we, but we went yeah. for, with this one, exactly. Why? Uh, yeah, at first we thought that uh, it will be cool if you can choose uh, what type of uh, gameplay do you prefer and based on that you will uh, change your stats to uh, suit your gameplay more. So for example, uh, you can choose what do you like more, like health or speed, and this way you will put your health a little bit down and your speed a little bit up. This was but, like an older concept, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. an older concept, but it was really hard to balance and, well, it was a nightmare to navigate through all the menus to choose. Ah, I, I remember the system. Uh, it was basically looking like a glorified like Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was weird to say the least. But it was kind of fun. I mean, uh, I can imagine having like a Fury that has like two HP, but like the speed of twenty pursuers. <laughs> Like boosted. Well, it's fun for one time, so we better well, <laughs> set this only for skirmishes. We actually, yeah, we have skirmishes <laughs> for this. So yeah, and we have modules passive and active ones. Mm -hmm, so that's I right. think we can go through each of these classes and uh, let's start with passive ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, they yeah, are sure. more they're more classic in the way they're structured, so it will make all more sense to show them. Yep. So, let's talk about it yeah, more. Passive modules. What they are? 
Uh, so the passive ones is uh, pretty easy to understand uh, because you already know how our weapons work in our game. Uh, you just Except choose. They are not weapons. Yeah, they are not weapons, but you uh, really customize the, uh, them the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, so you put it into your robot slot. So for example, here I have a Haichi, and I can choose uh, which slot will be used for which module. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it, and I think we should talk a little bit more about each module. I mean, there, there are like a couple of moments that I wanted to clarify. For example, we buy the God, uh, modules for gold, right? Uh, not for yes. components, not for anything yes, else. Yes, yes, like for it's, gold it's and gold. the first one is available for silver. Uh -huh. And you can upgrade them just like any other kind of... Yeah, you can... Uh, well, they are a little bit different mm -hmm. because uh, they don't have uh, as many levels as weapons. Mm -hmm. They only have six. Uh, and each level uh, costs uh, the same throughout the whole uh, okay, leveling up. And there is no MK2, basically. Yeah, there is no MK2 for modules. Okay. And let's go to each module. So let's go through each one of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm already. <laughs> okay, now we see what, what we see. We see armor kit, and there is also a nuclear reactor. There yeah, are, that's what these modules are. Uh, this is the two basic modules. Uh, one of which, uh, well, one of which uh, increases your durability, and the other will increase your uh, damage. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we decided that uh, we need to uh, put the two modules that are pretty, uh, pretty obvious, pretty clear for mm. everyone, uh, so they can choose what do they like more. So if you don't want to try to figure out what other modules do, you just go through. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, well, all the other modules uh, will have some kind of specific ability that works in a way, well, for some time. And they're or, more like skill-based. Yeah, they, they are pretty much skill-based, so this is the simplest one. Yeah. And we have them both in two kind of like basic versions and like improved versions. Yeah. Like, uh, so, so about the now, nuclear now the tricky part. Yeah. yeah about <laughs> the nuclear reactor and uh, armor kit. Uh, both of them are uh, already uh, in your robots. So when the update 4.6 uh, goes live, mm -hmm. uh, you will have these modules presetted into your uh, robots. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to upgrade them even more, uh, we have a more uh, kind of heavy type, mm -hmm. uh, heavy armor kit and uh, thermonuclear reactor. That's why I said this will be the trickiest part because, I mean, every time we try to pronounce this properly, we had a really hard time, but you did well actually this time. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, really, they are just a straightforward upgraded version of this. Can we put the numbers on the screen right now, just so this will be more clear? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And, yeah, now we can see that armor kit and heavy armor kits are different, that ar heavy armor kit gives more stats, right? Yeah, and uh, uh, as I mentioned, they only have six levels of upgrade, and the presetted ones uh, have only four. Yeah, so it will be f you will be faster to upgrade them, and it will be way cheaper. So you can just max them out and wait until you have something. Yeah, if if you like, or you can just uh, throw them away. Yeah, just don't don't use them and wait for you to upgrade to the new ones. Nice, and we can add them together, so their bonus just stacks. Yes, yes, with this one it will <coughs> it will just stacks. Okay. Ooh. So this is the simplest. Uh, okay, of the let's go through the harder ones. Okay, yeah, let's start, I guess, with the last end. Last end, yeah. Uh, After your robot's durability goes below a certain threshold, it becomes invincible for a short duration. So it's basically like a berserk module of some sort. Uh, well, yeah, if you, uh, for example, uh, you are playing a uh, beacon rush mode mm -hmm. and you really need this few seconds to survive and to capture a beacon for your team or just to uh, not give your opponent a beacon, you can use this module and just annoy the, your opponents a little mm. bit more. Uh, you uh, can take uh, any more damage, but uh, status effects such as lockdown can be applied mm. to you at this time. So even if you are invincible at this moment, you will still can, you still can be like locked down or suppressed. Or yes, something. yes, that's that's uh, true. We can actually show the stats for this module. Just so um, we have the this is, these are the oh, other modules. The next one. Hmm, that's weird. It's, okay, let's we can show we it. Can in, just we show we it can here. show it in game. The gameplay, yeah. All right. 
so yeah, uh, as you upgrade it, uh, you will get the increase in uh, threshold mm -hmm. and increase in duration. Okay. Uh, so you will be able to live a little bit longer and uh, the threshold will be a little bigger. Okay, so basically you have a you have this module activated. The more you have it upgraded, you can have it activated uh, a little bit higher, a little, on bit, a little bit earlier. Basically. Yes, yes, that's but what's true. the point? I mean, uh, well, uh, the point is, as you know, uh, if you are pretty low on health, there is a big chance that some of your weapons will be destroyed, and you will you won't be able to use them in battle. So, if you upgrade this module, you uh, will get the increased stats. Uh, with the duration and uh, you will be able to damage with all your weapons straight okay. away. And uh, if well, we stack them together, we will uh, yeah, you can, increase uh, use, this threshold. Yeah, you yeah. can use uh, more than one last stand module mm -hmm. uh, and this way uh, the threshold will be even bigger. Okay, uh, we, I'm, I'm sorry for this, we have some uh, technical issues. We actually cannot show you the numbers for last stand even though I have it on my screen. So yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. I can just read it for you, so you just write it down. On level 1, it activates when you have 5% max HP and it has like 2 second duration. And on level 6, uh, like so we can compare, it gives you 30% max HP, uh, it activates on 30% of your mm -hmm. max, max HP and gives you 4.5 seconds duration. But if you stack them together, your... Uh, the you only stack the threshold. Yeah, yeah the, duration, the, the duration will be taken from the highest level of okay. your modules. So it's just not to make this thing like way too OP. Yes, yes, because you will be then undestroyable for a pretty long period okay. of time. So if we go to the next module, I think this... Yeah, can you show please the game? Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Okay, so the next module is Battleborn. Your robots receive significantly, significantly less damage shortly after deploying on a spawn point. So why do we need this one? It seems like this is like kind of the last stand. Yeah, it's the, the, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, so uh, once again, uh, as a, as an example, uh, if you are playing something like free for all or a beacon rush, uh, once again you will be able to. Uh, survive a little bit longer, but this time uh, in the beginning, uh, mm -hmm. when you are just spawning. So, for example, the best way to use this module will be uh, when you see uh, many opponents that are going towards your beacon and you just uh, respawn with the uh, Battleborn active. And this way you will survive for uh, much longer periods of time mm -hmm. and you will be able to just <laughs> not give them uh, your team, mm -hmm. uh, your team's beacon. And as I see here, if we upgrade the Battleborn, the duration won't go up, but the defense will go up, right? Yeah, that, that's true. And the defense is not just like a percentage. This is uh, another param parameter that we yeah, use. This yeah, this is uh, pretty much the same uh, throughout the whole level leveling up process. Mm -hmm. uh, so the higher your defense rate, uh, the less damage you will take, but you will never be able to become invincible okay. at all. So uh, it will go up, uh, you will uh, get less damage, but you won't be uh, undestructible. So for example, if we stack together three Battleborns, and we will get 150 defense. We will get how much of the damage redu reduction? Actually, well, I, I believe we have. Here. Yeah, I believe we have the graph yeah. for that. Uh, can you show it, please? Yeah, it's on the screen right now. So basically, if we, the more defense you stack, the less effective each uh, single point of defense, right? Yep, that that's true. So why did we make it this way? Uh, well, uh, once again, if we stack the uh, duration, uh, it will be too much. Uh, mm -hmm. It will be just too OP. Okay, that makes sense. And we we actually combine Battleborn with Falcon. I mean, Falcon already have some kind of damage resistance resistance mechanic. Mm -hmm. How yeah, that's, that's does true. Battleborn interact with this? Well, at first we. Uh, we decrease uh, the number of damage based on the Falcon mm -hmm. ability, and then we uh, use the Battleborn ability. So we cut what's left, basically, of yeah, the, the damage that goes through. Yeah, so it will be actually pretty effective on Falcon. Okay, I think that's it with passive modules. Yep. We, we were kind of fast with this, so <laughs> let's go to active ones. There, is, there are three active modules, and what they are and how, how, I, 
how are they different compared to passive one. So the active modules is... I don't need this. <laughs> so the active modules are pretty much um, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are re uh, really excited to see what our players will do with them. So, uh, for example, if you uh, always thought that you don't have enough uh, power in your Lancelot mm -hmm. and uh, what you really need is uh, some kind of uh, repair unit uh, that will be uh, giving you an ability to just seems like to you repair kinda, yourself. Like kind of leading things into something, some kind of repair units. Yeah, that's, that's one of the first modules uh, that we introduced and uh, what is really excited is uh, you can exciting, yeah. Uh, you can just uh, choose uh, one of the modules. Uh, you don't have to buy them. You just put them straight uh, into your robot. So mm -hmm. I can uh, show you an example in in game. Uh, so you just uh, choose uh, which module you, you like and just put it straight away. Uh, if I mean, you you put them in a separate slot. Yeah, you put them in, the in a separate ones? slot. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. It's a green uh, one. So each uh, robot will have up to one active slot. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you decided that you don't like it, you just can use another one. So basically, you put the module into the slot, and you get another active ability. Yeah, that's 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 true. Yeah. So and the first active modules we have is that exact thing, repair unit, right? Yep, that's that's right. So what does it do? So it's uh, the most <laughs> simple module uh, it could be. It just uh, heals your robot for uh, twenty-five percent of. Yeah, it repairs. Yeah, We're it, not it re some yeah, kind yeah, of that's, like that's, fantasy. That's, that's something. right. Uh, you just uh, repair some kind of uh, some amount of your mm. durability, which is 25% over the five second uh, mm. duration, and then it will have uh, 20 seconds mm. cooldown. Actually, speaking about like healing, why I just did re why I just reacted uh, on this like this way because we frequently like fight over the idea of like healing or repairing in our game. Like some people just got used to this calling this like healing or something like this. And we actually want to make some kind of like lore explanation about how repair actually works in our game. We have it and we want to turn it into some kind of like story that we will publish next year. I hope this will clear out a lot of things. <laughs> Yeah, that's it will it will be interesting. And so basically, uh, with the repair kit, we restore like twenty five percent of durability over the five seconds. Yeah. Yep. And it unlocks on level one, and its cooldown is twenty seconds, and activation of it costs twenty power cells, right? Yeah, that's right. And uh, I'm not sure if we mentioned it. You can't upgrade active modules. Yeah. So you just put it into your robot and just use it whatever. Mm -hmm. So for wh everyone, you this like. module is as uh, is efficient as for everyone. Yes. Else. Yes. That's true. Okay. So this one is pretty straightforward. It even unlocks on level one. But what about the next one, Quantum Raider? Uh, so Quantum Raider is uh, the kind of module that will help players uh, to just counterplay uh, the stealth meta uh, that is well pretty much in some leagues. They I mean, are yeah, they uh, are really popular. Four of our top robots right now are yes based yes on are stealth, yeah, yeah have uh, stealth like uh, Pursuer, Spectre, Inquisitor, and Mercury. Yes yes that, that's right, uh, but. Uh, as you may think, uh, it is not just like uh, press a button and you win. Mm. Uh, before the, uh, this effect occurs, you will have uh, two seconds of preparation. Mm -hmm. And after that, you will be able to uh, use your uh, weapons against any stealth unit for six seconds. Mm -hmm. So basically, anyone you face against will still have some time to react. Yes, and yes, get and away. they will understand that you are using uh, this module because they will have a small icon uh, over mm -hmm. their name. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sense. yeah, they will uh, have the time to react and maybe not rush into you and to hide away or do something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was Quantum Raider. Lockdown Ammo. Yeah, Lockdown Ammo is the last one. And uh, this module actually uh, works with your weapons, not with your robot. Uh, what it does, it actually uh, gives you a chance for the next five seconds mm -hmm. to uh, lock down uh, an enemy uh, with your attacks. 
Uh, so Basically, yeah, this that's, works that's, both that's <laughs> on your weapons and your abilities, or just on yes, your weapons? It, yeah, it actually works on your abilities mm -hmm. as well. So you can use your Hellburner to just uh, lock down some enemies. Man. But you have to time uh, the usage of the ability yeah. right. And actually, it has some kind of w weird interactions with uh, like explosive damage and AOE, like Aerion effect. Uh, well, uh, I mean, how it speaking, works, for example, yes, yeah, speaking about shock explosive drain damage and explosions. Yeah, that's or... that's actually a good question. Uh, well, in case of uh, shock train, it will just uh, lock down only the first target. Only the first. Yes, target. only not the, first the ones that the shock no, train no, just no only on. the first one. Mm -hmm. And with uh, so if you, you saw this on test server, if you saw this on test server, it was kind yeah, of yeah, it a was a, yeah, it was a bug. it shouldn't work this way. Uh, so and with the explosive weapons like Orcans and mm -hmm. other stuff, uh, the more targets you hit, the lesser the chance are. But there is a chance, mm -hmm. a small one, okay. that you will uh, lock down at least like four <laughs> uh, players. But if it's, you, it's yeah, it's, skill. yeah, it's pre it's pretty low, and well, you know that it's a pretty rare situation when you mm -hmm. can hit four players. Uh, but it actually works together with Noricon. This is what actually excites me because I, I mean. <laughs> Aside yeah, of that's, that, that's using true. Noricum for like this thing, like with, which was called like Noricum uppercut or something like this. Yeah, with, with use, patterns. Like, yeah. yeah, with patterns for Noricums, they just go under someone and just unleash yeah, everything yeah. they can. <laughs> right now, there's like some other way to use it, and I think this is why we actually imply that we expect some creativity from people. Uh, using yes, this. yes, and well, actually, we are pretty excited to see what will you uh, come up with uh, by using this module. And I believe there's a lot to talk about about this particular module. There were many questions about how this module interacts with lockdown weapons and how it interacts. Uh, does it make them obsolete, basically? But we'll get to this later when we'll get mm -hmm. to yep. players' questions. I mean, I think this will make more sense. And, and by the way, we just covered up all the module set we will have in... Aside uh, two of them. The ones that we initially released on the test server, but we actually abandoned them for some reasons. I mean, uh, there was a frequency shifter and there was also a module called Deathmark. Yep, and that, we that, are not true. going to release them in 4.6, right? Yeah, we uh, received your feedback and we decided to uh, not release them in uh, 4.6 in order to uh, work some more on the uh, just understanding, uh, b b better understanding of how does this uh, modules work. I mean, uh, yeah, it can get really confusing when you, for example, use uh, a frequency shifter and then combine it with... Uh, with quantum radar. Quantum yes, radar, I mean, yeah. how they should interact? Well, the Was quantum, actually the quantum radar uh, should just uh, give you an opportunity to uh, damage the ones in uh, yeah. frequency shifter. Yeah, so we decided to uh, stick with the simplest modules and uh, I can say that uh, in January we will have uh, more test sessions uh, where we will uh, try to ask you some more questions and get your feedback and... Uh, tune this module up. Yeah, tune, tune this to model, yeah. this more com comprehensible. Yep, yeah, that, that's true. Thing. Okay, uh, and well, let's address the elephant in the room. Every single activation of modules, active modules, requires you to use a thing called power cells. You heard this thing from overview, you also heard this from uh, when I said like these three announcements from the very beginning, so why are we using them? Uh, so, yeah, uh, the active modules doesn't cost uh, anything mm -hmm. uh, when you put them into the robots. So you can just put them and start using them yeah, right away. Uh, but uh, there is uh, one thing, when you just have unlimited resources, uh, you can just spam all the modules uh, as, well, as much as you like. Mm -hmm. And well, it will not be. Uh, there will no. Uh, there will be no strategic uh, gameplay in it. So we decided to add some uh, activation costs in order for the players to uh, time uh, correctly. Uh, when do they really want to use uh, each module? So you will just uh, think of: Do I really need to uh, repair myself right now, or can I use it later? Mm -hmm. And uh, this way, uh, the strategic element will be uh, much bigger. I think we also like limit the usage of these modules with cooldowns. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, this is just a balancing thing. So I think this means that 
even if you have a lot of uh, power cells, you still can spawn your active modules yeah, that's, like that's whenever true. you want. They have at least like 20 seconds cooldown, yeah. depends on the module. Okay, and what if you are out of power cells? If you really, really want to like patch up your patch yourself up with uh, repair kit, mm -hmm. or if you really, really need to like hit that specter that is going on on you, and you're out of power cells, what do you do? Well, uh, you can just uh, use your uh, power cells uh, with gold, and you can just uh, use any modules uh, that you have already uh, pre-installed. So you basically can get more power cells right yes. from the battle yes with by gold. yes with gold yeah that's that's right and this raises the questions i mean how are we going to protect people from pressing the button on the accidentally like, you mean yeah. oh yeah there will be a message so you will uh, have to confirm that you will uh, start using okay, so uh, we're protecting this from type this yeah yeah and uh, well we we talk about what do we do if we don't have them but where we will get power cells from. Oh yeah, that's uh, I mean, the we most probably should have part. started from this, but yeah. Okay, so uh, the best way to get the power cells, as you already mentioned, is through uh, battle rewards. Mm. Uh, so the higher uh, your league are, the bigger the reward will be. Mm. Uh, so you will be able to get your uh, power cells through uh, battle rewards and uh, uh, I believe we can uh, show the players the amount of power the cells amount? Yeah. rewards. Yeah, I have it on my screen. Please show it to everyone. Yeah, we have it. Uh, so yeah, the higher your league, uh, the more power cells you will get. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a way to introduce this feature to everyone, uh, we will give a large amount of power cells to each player. At the uh, very beginning. Yeah, at the very beginning when the patch 4.6... on the screen right now. People don't see how I like raise my hand to press the button <laughs> to change the screen. Uh, I do this, do this, do this. Uh, mm, 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 right now. Okay, so uh, once again, the higher your league, the bigger the reward will be. And for example, if you are already in a champion league, well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, and uh, second, we, you will get uh, 20,000 uh, power cells, uh, which will be enough to activate uh, any module just 1,000 times. And Ooh, this should last you for quite a while. Yeah, and uh, as you play, you will just get more in uh, battle rewards. Yeah. And this makes a lot of sense because in Champions you have more robots with active modules, I think. Yeah, and, and the battles are pretty much intense, so you will be yeah. able to use uh, as many as you want. Yeah, I think... Just let's give pe people a little bit more time to see this. Okay, thank you. And uh, as I understood, we will remove from Battle Rewards uh, we will put modules into battle rewards, but yes, we will that, remove WR Royale tokens. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's true. Why? So when we uh, introduced uh, Royale, it was a way to get a new equipment. Mm -hmm. You can so basically a way to farm components. Yeah, but right now, uh, as we uh, released uh, Workshop 2.0, there is no need for uh, this anymore, and uh, as you may already seen, uh, we created. Uh, some ways to, uh, well, change the way uh, the Royale works and, uh, well, eventually we will get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically we just want to, like, simplify the current economy by yes, removing yes, that, all, the, that's right. all the things that we actually don't need. So Yeah, so for example, uh, next year we really like to uh, just take the Royale and the Black Market and to combine them in a, a new cool mechanic. So something like more interesting than it is. Yeah, right. yeah, and uh, we will uh, talk about it a little bit later. Mm, I wish we could talk about this right now, but I think we'll get to this topic well, like right now in we have January modules. or February or somewhere around that time. So, and yeah, instead of like just removing uh, WR Royale, we are just removing the way to acquire new tokens yes, and that, just that's like right. sliding it away like yeah that, that's or... right and uh, well eventually we will uh, go away from the royale at all okay i think 
it's time for the questions. Okay, sure. <laughs> we went through tons of feedback you guys sent us after test server. We went through many threads on Reddit. We actually gathered the questions you had uh, after we revealed modules. And there's a lot to talk about. And I hope I've got like two lists of, lists of questions. The first part will be the questions we actually gathered by ourselves. And the second part will be the questions that you guys send us from the very particular people that sent us their IDs to receive irises, because why not? Okay, we have different slots on different robots. I mean, mm -hmm. you, for example, have one set of slots on one robot for on Ragatka and another set of slots on Blitz or something like more new. Mm -hmm. um, how do we decide what slots go where? What robots get what? Uh, what so slots? inside our team, uh, we have a, a tier system mm -hmm. and we evaluate each robot from the less powerful to more powerful. Okay. Uh, so uh, when we decided which type of slots uh, we will give to each uh, to what uh, robots, mm -hmm. uh, we just use this system. Uh, so we uh, will give, for example, uh, one passive slot for uh, each robot, for example, something like Destrier mm -hmm. or uh, Kozak, and we will give more slots to more powerful mm -hmm. robots. For example, uh, the Haichi will get uh, three passive slots and one active. Not more. There no, won't no, be like yeah, robots there, with there like will five be, passive slots. No, there slots. will be uh, no more than one active slot. Mm -hmm. And no more than three, yeah, passive. Yeah, for passive okay. it will be up to three. Okay, this actually raises a lot of questions about this tier system. I think we'll get to this with uh, other players' questions. Uh, right? Yeah, sure. So bear with us, we'll get to it. And uh, another question. We have a lot of different things to consider when we're playing. For example, we have like, we first, we have robots, we have upgrade levels, we have mm -hmm. guns and upgrade level for each one of them. We have like different types of damage, different types of defense. Now we have also like status effect, like suppression, like lockdown. We also have abilities on robots, status mm -hmm. effects on these abilities yeah, on these robots. That, and now we also true. introduce <laughs> modules. So how do we make sure that people don't get lost in all these, how do I say? All these right? mechanics? All these mechanics, but I wanted to pick something like more like punchy, like in this. All these features. Whatever, in all this. <laughs> Sorry, okay. got really uh, loud. So uh, as for uh, many of our mechanics, uh, mm -hmm. Our basic robots are pretty much uh, straightforward. You just uh, run and shoot, and then you will uh, be able to, as you progress, mm -hmm. to unlock more uh, interesting robots. Mm -hmm. For example, you can unlock robots with jump ability, with dash, and with other stuff. And the same goes for the weapon types, the damage types, and all the status effects. So that basically, you spread all the things like through all the game. Through like, yeah, through, throughout unlock, the whole progression. Yeah. And uh, the modules will be the same, uh, as you can see in uh, our game, if you can show it, please. Uh, the Yeah, thank you. Uh, so the level uh, for uh, unlocking each uh, module type uh, will require you to upgrade your robot. So for example, in order to up, uh, unlock your first uh, passive module, you will have to upgrade your robot to at least level three. Mm -hmm. To unlock an uh, active module, you will uh, need to get to level five. And uh, this way, uh, you need to just uh, upgrade your robot. You will never do it instantly mm -hmm. and you will uh, just uh, discover this feature step by step. And also we have like durability and health modules, like basic ones, just to get people introduced to the idea. Yeah, the so models. the modules that uh, are uh, in your robots uh, that will be as this uh, official launches, uh, they are pretty obvious and they just uh, do one thing, increase your mm -hmm. damage or increase your health. No, not health, mm -hmm. durability. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. We, 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 had to clarify this. <laughs> so, okay, but eventually we want to like improve the way people got used to this, like like people learn the modules and so on and so forth. 
Yes, we have uh, yeah, we are really wa waiting for uh, feedback from mm. our players to just see what is not mm. uh, clear and what is uh, easy to understand to improve the system. So uh, this update is just uh, base the groundwork for this feature to uh, come mm -hmm. up with well through the, throughout mm. the whole year and and well <laughs> so on and so forth. And basically we are going to like improve the effects improve the ui and so on and so forth yeah, it, yeah, sure. it will just go over so as you, as, you, as you see we already have a new uh, robot uh, store in mm. uh, in game uh, okay can you show it to us yeah yeah this is uh, already a new uh, ah, you user interface like the new, new handler yeah so f for example this is the way to improve our players experience mm -hmm. and to do it uh, so it is easier to understand. Okay. And I remember when we first announced the modules back in April, when the concept was like completely different. We had like things like Bumblebee, Squad Leader, if you remember like yeah, Bumblebee, yeah, that was I, like I a, remember. It was like a controllable yeah. rocket that goes <laughs> like, you control it as you let yeah, it go. It was, yeah, it, it was really yeah. cool, but uh, all of them are uh, pretty hard to mm -hmm. understand. They are, uh, well, some of them are more for um, people who like to play together in squads. And we decided that we should stick with the simplest, uh, the simplest and mechanic. Add other ones like later. Yes, yes. So uh, next modules you will see will be a little bit harder to. We'll, we'll, ha we'll have, yeah, we'll have a little more interesting effect. Uh, and when can we expect uh, like the next modules? I mean, how often we want to release new modules? Uh, so, as you may already know, uh, we decided to uh, release our uh, content a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the next modules will be in. A we actually, didn't announce this, but. Oh, we we did not. Oh, okay. We did not, <laughs> but we will. But we actually did this right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, the next modules will be in uh, three months. Mm -hmm. So it will be something near April. Mm -hmm. And by the time we will have enough opportunities to uh, test them on our test servers and uh, get some feedback. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've heard it first. We are going to slow down the. We're going to increase the time between releases so you guys have more time to prepare uh, for the next big like content drop. I think it's a good news. It's a, it is. Well, it's because it, I mean, it depends on what do you like. Yeah, what do you expect from War Robots? But, but I mean, we had a lot of like feedback on like slow down. Every month we get new robots. Yes, I mean, yes, we that, can't that, that's true. get used to the older ones, and you already introduced the new ones. So, so yeah, we are uh, changing the pace of the new content. So yeah, we're slowing down, finally. And we're getting to the players' questions. And uh, yeah, the questions are going to be like right below. And you're going to see the question itself and the ID of the player who asked it. So if you see your own ID, check your hanger. I'm just saying, check your hanger. Yeah, check your let, hanger. Let, let's start. Let, let's begin with that. <laughs> First question. Uh, it's not like a question, but it's more uh, like a concern. Basically, I'm against lockdown modules. It makes lockdown weapons less unique. And the second one basically um, it goes together with this. Uh, perhaps it's better to give modules uh, only to underplayed robots, because if every robot has them, they become less and less unique. So. What can so yeah, let's this? let's uh, address uh, one Each question one at like a time. Yeah. So uh, about lockdown weapons, mm -hmm. uh, as you know, the lockdown module uh, will have a huge cooldown, mm -hmm. so you won't be able to use it as frequently as a lockdown weapon. And uh, well, this way uh, it will still be unique because you can lock down with each shot, uh, which will never be with the lockdown module. Uh, so this way. It still are different. It's still well. They are so basically are if you weapon. if you get lockdown weapon, you have your like lockdown always with you. Yeah. So but you in can in this case you have them like situation. Yeah, that, that's true. So if you put some lockdown weapons, that it means that you just don't need this uh, lockdown armor, and you can use uh, other types of modules mm -hmm. on uh, this particular robot. Mm -hmm. But 
I be, have we addressed this? I mean, uh, there were a lot of concerns uh, that lockdown weapons, lockdown ammo will interact with some weapons in much more powerful way, for example, if we combine it. Yeah, we, we said a little bit about like explosive weapons with about mm -hmm. subshop trade, yep. but what about if we compare, for example, like slow shooting weapons like Trident or Trebuchet mm -hmm. or something like this, and for example, Punishers. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, uh, we can uh, attune uh, the uh, probability for a lockdown effect on each weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, uh, the weapon that shoots just one straight shot and then it goes to a huge cooldown, something like uh, Trebuchet, uh, it will have a little uh, bigger chance of uh, lockdown and the weapons such as Punisher will have a, uh, less one. Like L less less chance to lesser chance down. per bullet yeah. basically. Yes, that that's true. So because you shoot more bullets, you have lesser chance, but yes, a bigger that, chance of around. Yeah, that, that that that's true. So the second half of the question or second question about perhaps it's better to give modules only to underplayed robots. I mean, this very well um, ties together with that tier system thing that uh, we yes, that uh, that is true. Uh, so the tier system is like. Uh, some kind of progression system mm -hmm. where you start with something small and well <laughs> not very dangerous mm -hmm. and as you play more and unlock more ways to interact with other players uh, you will be able to do so much more mm -hmm. and you will be able to customize it uh, a little bit uh, well more deeply so well this works with uh, all the modules and all the robots in uh, tier 4 so for example like haichi uh, which can be which can have up to three uh, active slots or oh, three passive slots sorry and one active, active slot Jeez. <laughs> no no on, on, only three passive and one active so basically we i mean more than a year ago we actually wanted to use modules to empower like lower level robots to make them on the more level field with others. So yeah, we, we, threw it we, away. we really thought about that, but it's just impossible to create a destrier robot that can be used in the Master League. Mm -hmm. It's just, well, <laughs> unbalanceable. Yeah, I mean... Well, it doesn't have it doesn't have any abilities. It's well only have two weapons and uh, pretty low HP. So why? Well, we can increase the HP, but if we just give it like three more abilities from modules, that means well, it it will be unbalanced. It's, yeah, basically. it's it still will be not very interesting because you will have like three abilities which will you have to just use in in combat. It's not <laughs> not not so very basically useful. Basically, we just build the progression from like it's not. I believe our robots are not just becoming like stronger, they become harder to use, more like skill based. Yeah, they, they have more types of approach. So, for example, with the stealth bots, with the jump robots and uh, the newest one. Mm -hmm. So you just have uh, more ways to interact with uh, your opponent. Mm -hmm. So you progress basically from simpler robots to harder robots. Yes, that, that's true. And this is the way we want to stick to. Yes, and this is the way we introduce the modules to uh, each mm -hmm. robot and uh, well, just uh, put some of uh, number to of like you give, slots to we give you more uh, numbers to play with, more yes, slots yes, to that, that, that's true. And are we going to introduce like this tier system? Are we going to make this visible in the game? Because we already like have the progression yes, very well we, visible we, in workshop we actually, and other yeah, way. Uh, we actually really want to introduce it, but uh, we will have to. You will have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, bear with us. The next question, um, it's a bad idea to give modules to newer robots as well, or are you still deciding? Actually, this is, we yeah, answered we, this question actually, like Yeah, just we actually right. answered it, yeah. This, I mean, so at we least just show it for the person that asked this question, like, this is your ID, you got the robot. So yeah, uh, as I already said, at least uh, one slot, at least one passive will be f uh, available for a any robot. Mm -hmm. And as the robots grow uh, more uh, complex, you will get more slots. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the next question. How about giving modules as a reward for the time we spent in game for like veteran players? Uh, well, uh, actually, we uh, decided to give more power cells for players in higher league. Uh, so this is our way to say thank you and to give you more time to use uh, this system mm -hmm. and to just uh, think what will you uh, come up with 
okay. what, what module suits best which robot. But we'll still consider there are other ways to... Yes, yes, sure. At this point, we stick with this. Okay, and uh, the next question, the one we have already asked answered when we were discussing passive modules. Uh, ONS modules are live. Will all the robots have modules on them as well? Basically, yes, robots yes, will Yeah, all, all robots will at least have uh, one slot. Uh, and they will have like armor kit and nuclear reactor mounted Built in, them, yeah, basically, yes. by default. Uh, the next question I really like. Will you design a jump-in module? Yes, yes, this is possible. I mean, <laughs> so we, 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 are will we, we are thinking about it. That's good to know. <laughs> so I will be able to make my, for example, jumping Yuri yes, or Lancelot, yes. jumping Lancelot, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's that good of an idea, but... Well, it's heavy, so it will not jump so high as ah, yeah, Rogatka, like, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this makes sense. Uh, the next question is tricky and I think it's really important for us to answer this right now, right here. So after the negative feedback from the test server, you decided to put them on like modules uh, on the live server anyway. So why and can you explain how modules will be balanced? Again, it's a question yeah, it's in a two, two parts. Two questions, so yeah, so actually, after the negative feedback that we received, why we still believe that we need the modules in the game? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we received your feedback and we decided to uh, postpone the launch of two modules. Like the most controversial the, ones. Yeah, the most controversial uh, in order to uh, make them better. And we actually... Uh, change some balance in the modules that we are going to launch. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, with, the, uh, I believe, the lockdown Emma mm -hmm. was having a lot higher chance uh, of uh, lockdown effect. So, yeah, we really addressed these issues. And uh, as for how we will balance the modules uh, uh, in the later game, we will uh, once again uh, look at your feedback and uh, look at our statistics and, uh, well, for example, uh, such thing as a win rate and if uh, some of the modules will have just uh, too big of a win rate compared to others, we will tune it down. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, it uh, can go either way, so if some modules are just not very useful, we will uh, make it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. And the next question, what is the specific benefit of the modules that they give to the metagame? Uh, why do you believe that the game needs them? Uh, so, uh, the benefit uh, for the game is, uh, once again, uh, the ability Actually, to we customize, yeah, to, to customize your uh, mm -hmm. hangar and to do something that, uh, well, to create it for yourself. So this is, well, like, for me, it's the best feature. I can just uh, create my huge tanky Lancelot and just go and straight up kill. Make and, it more tanky. Yeah, ma make it more tanky. Yeah, uh, as for the, um, why do we believe that uh, this game needs it? We really played this and we test this and we really do think that uh, it is a good feature that uh, will bring something else, something more interesting to our game. Uh, and uh, we really stick with this opinion throughout the whole development process. So basically, we laid the foundation for some, like, something like bigger. Yes, yes. So well, next year we will uh, create more modules, mm -hmm. and you will see how the game changes and how it becomes, uh, as we believe, more interesting. I mean, probably it still will be the shock, even the, even though we make like the more basic modules, I mean, the new, complete new entity, this will be like, this will shake the game up quite a bit, but we expect it to be for the for the good in the yes, long run. Yes, yes, that, that, that's true. Yeah. Okay, and next question is, what's the idea behind modules like armor kit and nuclear reactor? How are they different compared to boosters? Uh, so, well, for the boosters, you just use them uh, before uh, battle, and uh, these modules are for players who, as I already mentioned, uh, for players who just don't want such uh, complex effects. I mean, of, for players well, who want their like, yeah, we, effects they, they, to be they with just, them coming Yeah, they, they just want to just have a little bit more damage and mm -hmm. have a little bit more uh, durability. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's the idea. So, basically... If you go with boosters, you want to get 
something like for this exact moment. So yeah, it's, bit... it's, it's for like something like uh, squad battles when mm. you are taking your whole clan to battle and you just have, you, you just want a little bit more opportunity to win. And uh, this uh, armor kit and nuclear reactor is just, uh, well, simple modules. If you don't, uh, if you don't know uh, what type of gameplay mm. you really prefer, you can just use them and see for yourself. And just, they are always with you. Yes, yes, that, that, that's true. that always just activate, go away. Activate, mm, go away. Yes. They're, they're always with you. Yeah, that's, that, that's right. Okay, why do we even need them? The next question. What problems are the modules solving that the players have been asking for? So, the main problem of uh, the modules Oh, no, not, not, not the module. The, the main problem that the modules will address is, uh, for example, uh, with Quantum Raider, it is an opportunity to uh, outplay uh, the stealth meta. So uh, many players just don't like uh, playing against stealth bots and, well, they actually didn't have any way to interact with it. Uh, and this is the way to answer this uh, meta call. So basically, instead of like always buffing on, or nerfing things, we just give people more tools to yes, contract they, they, things for themselves, yeah, they, they just, by themselves. They just can shape the metagame of uh, war robots in one way or the other. And uh, well, this is the most exciting, the most exciting thing about it. Mm -hmm. We just uh, really want to see what our players uh, will come up with, mm -hmm. how things will evolve like organically. Yes, yes. without our just jumping us jumping in and just changing everything. Yes, like, that, that, let's that, nerf shock train. True. Let's nerf spectral. Let's buff something entirely else and every, everyone else is like what <laughs> and now just they can just enact them by themselves basically yeah so uh, you just use whatever you like whenever you like so mm -hmm. it's it's a good system by that uh, point mm -hmm. of view I see and the last question from the person that asked the question that was the most liked uh, like among the like top three on Facebook, I believe, but the, the guy didn't leave his ID for some reason. But whatever, I still I am still going to ask it. Uh, why are we making modules when there is no other stuff to fix? It's like an eternal question. Well, uh, the modules itself is a feature that is created by a separate team, mm -hmm. so. Uh, we have uh, other type of, uh, well, <laughs> inside um, teams. So uh, when we were w working on the modules and when uh, we finished our work, we just uh, release it and, uh, well, <laughs> this is the time where you get this. And uh, at this time, uh, our team still are working on some uh, stuff to just fix, I mean, fix the issues. For example, a team that works on module, there is a team that works on something else, like yes, fixing, yes. Well, there's a team. On, on the features that uh, we are going to introduce next year, and uh, we have a team that is working on uh, fixes. Mm -hmm. I believe, well, we'll cover this later. I think that's it from all my modules question. We got about 10 of them, as we, did we promise this? I don't know. I think among like the most burning topics, among mm -hmm. the hottest topics, we did our best to address them. And so yeah, right now we are just uh, waiting for uh, your feedback, and I believe it will be a good way to introduce our feedback form. Oh yeah, I mean uh, on the next week or um, around this time, we are going to launch uh, our yearly like poll. We or questionnaire, how, how do we call this in this case, uh, with many questions about War Robots, what you did like last year in 2018, what you expect the most from the 2019 and so on and so forth. So stay tuned, we are going to announce it and publish it in our social media like on Facebook, on Lion for Japan, on Contaxi, on Russia and all the other platforms. So we really need that kind of feedback because uh, we have a lot of things prepared for next year and we have a lot to discuss on future streams. We actually want to keep working with this format because this is really helpful for us to like stay in touch. We can keep asking questions, keep responding on the questions. Sorry, this time we didn't work with the chat. 
sorry, uh, because we wanted to establish this format just once and for all and keep working on it, improving it and make it more or less like regular thing. But I digressed quite a bit from the yeah, what I was talking about. That's but yeah, I mean, if the main I idea. I think it's a good time for us to wrap the stream. Yes, so uh, send out uh, your feedback. We are really uh, waiting for it. And we are <laughs> really intrigued to see what will you come up with this uh, module feature. We say so, this quite often. Yes, that's, that's actually true. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, why do I say I mean? Uh, thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for being with us. Congratulations to all the guys that we've read their questions check your anger once again check your hunger and uh, yeah uh, the so, christmas is coming yes yes holidays it's and stuff one one week a little christmas. bit more yeah so uh merry thank christmas you. happy holidays yeah. um quite fun times are coming that's true so yeah, so wait for the 4.6 update and just, well... When it will hit? Uh, wait for the next week, right? For the next week, yeah. So, thank you, and I guess it's thank time you. to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, it's Vadim, lead game designer from War Robots, yep. and I'm your host. Uh, wait, I do this. I'm your host, uh, Artemi, also known as WR Tosla. See you on the next stream. Yeah, Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.